In today's video, I'm sharing with you four new recipes that are just mouth-watering meals. And each of these meals come in at 500 calories or less. They have lots of flavor to them. My entire family loved every meal. I hope that you enjoy this video. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed already and give this video a thumbs up. I'm Mandy and this is Living in the Mom Lane. Our first meal is skinny lasagna rolls coming in at 240 calories per roll. Now the recipe does not call for hamburger meat, but my husband is a meat and taters kind of guy, and if his lasagna does not have meat in it, he's gonna be very upset. So I'm seasoning up some hamburger meat with garlic salt and Italian seasoning. Once that's browned, I will just drain that and set it to the side. I'm going to go ahead and start cooking the lasagna. The recipe does call for whole wheat uh, lasagna, but I just used regular, so my calorie count is probably a little bit more than what the actual recipe says. In the same skillet that I browned the hamburger meat, I'm gonna add some minced garlic and just saute that a little bit. Once that's sauteed, I'm gonna add in a whole bag of baby spinach. You are supposed to cut this beforehand, but I'm gonna show you a little trick which makes it so much easier. Once it's started to wilt and it's pretty much done, I just take my kitchen shears and hold them in this way if you see here and I just start chopping them up. It's so much easier instead of getting a cutting board and having to chop it all up, so much easier and quicker. In my bowl here, I have all of my cheeses, ricotta, mozzarella, cottage cheese. I have an egg white, all of my seasoning. I add the spinach into the bowl, mix it all up nice and well. In my casserole dish, I pour just a little bit of the sauce on the bottom of that and spread it out. The recipe called for marinara, however, when I was shopping at Aldi, the tomato and basil sauce had less calories and less carbs, so I went with that. Now on a piece of parchment paper, I lay out my lasagna and I take about a quarter a cup of the cheese mixture and about a tablespoon of the hamburger meat, put it on the lasagna and then roll it up and then place it in the bottom of that nine by 13 pan. And I do that with all of the lasagna pieces until I'm out of either the lasagna or the cheeses. Now that all of the rolls are in my 9 by 13 pan, I'm going to add the rest of that tomato basil sauce on the top, spread it out a little bit, add on some more mozzarella and Parmesan cheese. I'm going to cover this with some aluminum foil, put it in the oven that is preheated at 425 degrees just until all of the cheese is nice and melted and it's bubbly. And this is what it looked like. These were so good. My husband loved them and the kids really liked it as well. We had enough left over to make another meal during the week. The next meal I decided to make some barbecue chicken quesadillas. These were really good according to my carb app they're coming in at 464 calories so the first thing i'm going to do is go ahead and get that chicken cooked in the instant pot i just have a pack of chicken tenderloins i was going to make these on the blackstone but it was actually getting ready to storm we were under a tornado warning and i really didn't want to have to be outside trying to make dinner so i just did these in the oven I had a couple of avocados that were getting ready to go bad. I didn't want to waste them. I'm using the carb counter tortillas. The rest of the family uses regular tortillas. I'm just placing a quarter of an avocado on each tortilla, some mozzarella cheese, and then once my chicken is done, I use the Bucky's original barbecue sauce. If you guys have a Bucky's near you and you have not gone, you have got to go to Bucky's. Try their food. 
It is absolutely delicious. And buy some of the Bucky's original barbecue sauce. It is so good. You can actually find it on Amazon, which I will link it down below. So now my chicken is all done. I just put it in a bowl. I use my hand mixer to shred it instead of using two forks. Using the mixer is so much easier. So I just pour in that Bucky sauce. I used probably about half of the bottle. So I place the chicken on each of the tortillas. I fold it over. I spray a little bit of extra virgin olive oil spray on them. Pop them in the oven under the broil setting until they're nice and brown and crispy. And this is what they look like. The kids raved over those. They were so good. Up next is Asian stuffed peppers coming in at 162 calories for half of a stuffed pepper. I just cored the peppers and sliced them in half, um, just chopping up my onions and everything. You're supposed to actually use green onions, but I forgot to buy green onions at the store. I went ahead and chopped up my cabbage. You're supposed to use Napa cabbage, which I could not find in the store. So in my pan there, I browned up my pork and then I just drained that and set it to the side. Now in my skillet, I am heating up some sesame seed oil, about two tablespoons of that. And then I will add in the cabbage, ginger, garlic, pepper, salt, soy sauce, and half of the green onion, which again, I didn't have a green onion. I just used a regular onion and it tastes just fine. Um, this was a pretty quick and easy meal to make. You could serve rice on the side if you wanted to. I actually didn't serve anything on the side. We just had the peppers and that was it. The kids really enjoyed it. Jason loved it. Um, they were very good left over. Once the cabbage is cooked, I add the browned pork meat back into the cabbage, mix that all up nice and well, and then I will start stuffing the peppers. These will go into a 375 degree oven for about 10 minutes until the peppers are nice and hot. If you like your peppers to be a little more tender, you can add some water in the bottom of the pan and cook them a little bit longer. This is what they look like. Like I said, everyone loved them. They were very good left over, very tasty and a quick meal to make. The next meal is Fiesta Chili. This is coming in at 254 calories for one and a half cups. This calls for ground turkey, and I was a little skeptical about using ground turkey, but it was delicious. I know I have said that about every one of these meals, but every one of them have been so good. This is supposed to be done in a crock pot, but I forgot that I was making this on this day, and I just used the Dutch oven because I ran out of time and didn't have time to put it in the crock pot. But in my uh, Dutch oven here, I put in the ground turkey and the rest of the ingredients, which is kidney beans, garlic, onion, chicken broth, um, frozen corn, a bell pepper, chili powder, cumin, a chipotle chili from a can, and then you take two tablespoons of that sauce from the can and add that into the soup. You can also use a lime wedge for serving if you would like. I didn't do that. Um, and then of course, salt and pepper. Since I didn't use the crock pot, I just put everything in my Dutch oven, mixed it all up really well, put a lid on it, and I let it cook for about 30 to 40 minutes. This was so good. I put a little bit of tortilla chips on mine. You could serve this with a cheese quesadilla on the side or a grilled cheese would be good with it or just tortilla chips. 
I was hoping to have some of this left over so I could have it for lunch the next day, but everybody gobbled it up. So next time I make it, I'll have to double the recipe. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments if you try any of these recipes, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.